Meanwhile, pressure is building in the East Valley, where leaders also want a new college campus. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco has more on that part of this same controversy. We're asking for the College of the Desert. We're asking that they not forget their promise. Coachella Mayor Stephen Hernandez is ramping up calls for a COD campus to be built in the eastern Coachella Valley. Why is it that if we advocate for uh, a, a valley campus, that the sentiment amongst West Valley officials is that there's somehow a backdoor deal or corruption? Uh, that's, that's horrible. On Wednesday, Hernandez aired his frustrations publicly on Facebook. He shared a video of former COD President Joel Kinnaman speaking at a board meeting, saying Kinnaman had promised COD investment in each desert city. I asked Hernandez about the claims on social media. You're saying that Palm Springs officials are calling Coachella and East Valley efforts to build a campus a backroom deal. Mm -hmm. Who said that? You can look at Christy Holstich's post. In response, Holstead says in part that Palm Springs has information that COD is not following the legally mandated process for campus selection and for investing $1 billion in bond funds. Hernandez also shared a picture of Joel Kinnaman posing with Coachella Council member Denise Delgado, who is challenging Hernandez in the November election. With a caption, check out who out there is selling out our community. Vote for this person. Delgado issued a response saying in part, while she supports more local options for Coachella area students, she does not agree with the mayor's inflammatory response to the issue. Hernandez says his actions are about ensuring equity. This is about making sure that when, when the voters of the Coachella Valley pass the $1 billion bond, including voters in the city, that we get a share of that money. In that same Facebook post, Hernandez also says white is right for you all. I asked him if he thinks race is a factor in COD's decision to invest in Palm Springs. So absolutely from a racial economics perspective, I want our brown kids to be successful. I want our community to be successful. I reached out to COD for comment on the matter, to which a spokesman responded in part. During today's meeting of the COD Board of Trustees, the board approved the tenant improvements contract for the Chelsea project in the city of Coachella. In Thousand Palms, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3. You can find the full statements and more information related to the voter-approved bond measures at KESQ.com.